the ball! today we're on a road trip um, I haven't told you guys yet but we're headed out to Kansas my dad ended up drawing a tag again for the third year in a row um, for out there and uh, we're headed out there he asked me it was kind of a last-minute deal but he asked me to come out with him since uh, he's gonna be all alone so I figured I'd take about a week off of school because why not I mean days off school is always good days Got the week off of school and I'm headed out here. I didn't do, I didn't draw a tag this year since it was kind of a last minute deal, but I'm gonna be the camera guy this week. So I'll be following dad around all week here in Kansas and uh, we're gonna see if we can find any big bucks. Hopefully it'll be a good trip. Um, we got a long road trip ahead of us. We've been traveling for about four hours now. Um, it's 10.30 right now. I think we left the house about 6, 6.30. It was about 5.30, 6 o'clock around that time. We're moving, we're moving. And uh, we're in, getting close to the in Chicago. Nine miles. Keep right onto I-80 west toward Iowa. We're getting towards the Chicago area right now. Um, we actually just uh, uh, left a uh, nice traffic jam that we've been in for about the past 10, 20 minutes now, which was great. I don't, I don't understand. I. Me personally and dad would never be able to live in this kind of area. I mean, some people it's different. They like this kind of stuff. But me, I just like the country area. I like the smaller towns where uh, traffic keeps moving and doesn't stop and sit there for a good hour. But anyways, we're on the move now. Spoke too soon. We're looking like we're stopping again. So uh, scratch that thought. We got about a 10 hour trip, I believe, ahead of us. So we'll probably get there to Kansas about It'll be around 8 or 9 p.m. tonight, so uh, we're hoping for a good, clean road trip. Hopefully not too much more traffic. I think we're going to get out of this this area um, before the lunchtime hits so we can get out of that traffic because that is some gnarly traffic. But Come along for the ride. should be fun. We're loaded up. Yeah. We got so much stuff that we can just barely see out of the rear view mirror, um, but... It's gonna be a good one. Looking forward to take a lot of video, a lot of pictures. It's gonna be awesome. It's great country out there. Um, we're gonna be trying to do a little bit of a vlog style, so maybe try to get a video out of just about every day. So today, this video will be a nice vlog of us sitting in a car, listening to music, uh, watching large semis cramp you in to the side of the the guardrails here and uh, that's that's about it and then tomorrow we'll do a little bit of scouting um, dad's been out and hunted this um, in previous years like I said this is his third year in a row so he was here last year but you guys saw those videos um, I'll link that one up top <clears throat> that was with uh, one of dad's buddies shot that big Boone and Crockett um, I don't even know how many points I had but big Boone and Crockett buck out here in Kansas um, so he uh, he is familiar with the area. A lot of the hunting we'll be doing is most likely going to be ground hunting, just because there's not many trees out here in Kansas. It's a lot of rolling hills, a lot of a lot of tall, tall grass, which can be hard if you're trying to track a deer. But we're going to work through it. Um, so I guess we will keep the vlogs going here. Um, keep talking about random stuff, and uh, we'll see you guys in Kansas. Well, man, 
18 hours now since the last time well last time I talked to you it was a long time ago it seems like a long time but uh, we are somewhere in Nebraska now we just got out of Omaha probs about an hour ago I would say uh, uh, the traffic hasn't been too bad like for most of the day it was pretty bad bad back in Chicago which took up about a half hour probably and then it was it was kind of slow and through Omaha just because it's a big city but really wasn't much traffic but we got through most of the traffic and uh, we're out in the country now it's a it's a clear road from here on out we're hoping well it should be a clear road we got about two hours left in the drive uh, we'll probably arrive around, I would say, 8, 9 o'clock. Um, it's a little more than two hours, but it's a smooth sailing from here on out, and it has felt like we have been in this car for ages. So, trips three quarters of the way over. We're almost to Kansas. Final destination. freaking car we have made it to Kansas um, we have made it to our hotel motel deal lodge whatever you want to call it home sweet home for the next uh, nine ten days I believe um, dad's tired he's a uh, cranky he's so tired he's he's still running on the Michigan hours which I think it is like it's 902 here right now it's 10 o'clock back at home so Dad probably should have been in bed about an hour ago, but we're here. Dad's happy. I'm happy. Made it here safe. Um, car ran like a champ, and the room is nice. We got all of our stuff, like our clothes and stuff, in here, our blankets, um, any little things that could go inside here. And now, we got all of our hunting stuff, throwing it back into the car. We're just making sure we got all of our stuff that can stay here. And now, we're going to take all of the stuff that we're going to need for hunting, keep it in there, put it in there, and it'll be in there the whole entire week, so we don't have to worry about it, um, forgetting anything. So We got everything unpacked. The car is all packed up with the hunting gear. Got our new contraption on here this is for the microphone and the light for uh, tracking deer and just I, I guess like dark interviews where you can't see nothing it's a very very cool light very very bright almost blinding so when it's all the way when it's all the way up here it doesn't blind you as much we're gonna go find some food right now like I said and come on back hit the hay and then tomorrow we are um, probably going to sleep in a little bit because we're a little tired. It's been a long, long, long day. So we'll probably wake up just uh, about probably an hour before daylight, I would think. It gets daylight about 8 o'clock here. Um, and uh, tomorrow will be a little bit of scouting. We're going to make like a homemade uh, brush ground blind almost out of um, timber and all kinds of good stuff. So We'll show you. Yeah, we'll show you in the morning. So, right now we're gonna go grab some grub, head on back, hit the hay, and do a little scouting tomorrow. So, 